Lafroig's standard has been a constant fixture on my bar. And when somebody said, hey, do you want a bottle of something other than that standard? Who was I to say no to a, a free bottle of Eli Scotch? Now, Lafroig has a long-standing tradition of cr creating some of the more pungent smelling scotches. Now, this is due to the amount of peat that they use in the uh, malting process of the barley that's used in the brewing process before the distilling process. You know, you gotta make beer before you make whiskey. It's, it's kind of weird. Upon receiving this bottle of lore, I was rather suspicious of it as it didn't have an age anywhere on it. Now, any other scotch worth its salt is gonna tell you how old it is, and with that age comes you know, there's 16 right there on the box. It probably has it on the bottle, too. Uh, Glenn Levitt, yep, 16 years, cask-gaged. Um, so, yeah, when I, when I see a scotch without an age on it, I have to be suspicious. Another thing that I was suspicious of is the reason why they call it Lord. Now, there's a whole bunch of marketing uh, spiel on this and on the... Thing it came in and it really didn't tell me much about why they call it lore. I mean what I smell here out of this out of this scotch glass is yeah it's it's a peaty smoky scotch. Now the smell and the flavor and the bite of this scotch is more harsh than what you would have in say the standard and this is another thing that made me suspicious. I'm kind of wondering if this is a four-year scotch as it sort of has the bite of immature whiskey. It has the smell of band-aids and uh, it, it's, it's just not worth it. And here's another thing. When it comes to the matter of cost, I, since this was a gift, I had to look it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking a gift horse in the mouth here. But a bottle of Lafroig lore goes for somewhere in the neighborhood of 85 US dollars. Now, is that worth it for this sort of untamed experience? Absolutely not, when the standard, the 10-year, can be had for as little as 45 US dollars. And it, it also offers a more refined and smooth experience. So, when it comes to rating on this recommendation scale thing, I would rate the Lefroig lore uh, a one out of three stars. Now, I, this is a thing that is only for uh, Eli Scotch lovers or Petey S Scotch lovers. Uh, it's definitely an acquired ex or an acquired taste. This whole experience, and it's like I wouldn't ask you to buy a bottle of this. You know, if you see it out at a bar, maybe have a, a little snort of it or something. Or if you're at a friend's house and see it at their bar, uh, just ask for a thimble of it just to see what I'm on about here. Now, for the 10-year standard, I would give this a 2-star out of 3 rating. Simply because it isn't for everyone. It's still a, a smoky, peaty... Uh, experience which not everybody likes that not everybody likes the the peat and all of that my my wife certainly hates the smell uh, so if, if you're a scotch lover and you enjoy having a scotch with your cigar I would highly recommend getting your hands on a bottle of Lefroy 10 year and that'll about do it for this re review of Lefroy or this comparison of Lefroy 10 year and and Lefroy lore. Stay tuned for more and hopefully we can be more regular in our upload schedule. And thanks for watching. Drink responsibly. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you later.